Okay, when I click the button, the number updates and then the DOM adjustment is made. But I want the DOM adjustment to be made after the number has updated. Hello and welcome. Hi, I'm Dave. Today we're going to look at why you might want to use the React Hook Use Layout Effect instead of Use Effect. So let's get started. Use Effect and Use Layout Effect are mostly identical and their syntax is the same. You can see I've imported Use Effect here at the top of this file and I have Use Effect in place right now. Both really are used to run their code, which is considered to be a side effect, when the dependencies specified in their dependency array has changed. And you can see I have number in the dependency array here for use effect. And number is a piece of state I have up here at the top with number and of course set number using the use state hook. Now the only difference is exactly when use layout effect versus use effect runs the code that's inside of the effect. And as the name indicates, use effect or use layout effect, the code inside is really considered to be a side effect, something that changes after something else has changed in the component. And that's why we put a dependency inside the array. We're listening or looking for a change. And if say number changes, then we're going to run this code. And that's the same for use effect and for use layout effect. So really what's the difference? Well, the difference is use effect is asynchronous. So it will not delay painting the DOM to the browser, but use layout effect is synchronous and it will delay painting the DOM to the browser. It wants to run its code before painting to the browser. So when does this come into play? Well, really it makes use effect the correct and more performant choice about 99% of the time. However, there's that 1% of the time when you want to choose use layout effect over use effect. And that's because you want the code to run before it directly modifies the DOM. And that modification of course is observable to the user. You don't want the user to observe that change. And that brings us back to the example that I gave at at the beginning of this tutorial. Right now, I click the button, the number changes, and then you see this whole section element move. And that's exactly what's happening each time. So you see the number change and then it moves. But this is observable to the user. What I'm wanting to do is have it move, but I don't want you to see the number change until it has moved. So I'll click again and you see the number change and then it moves. So let's change this use effect import and inside the component to use layout effect and save. Of course, now it's reloaded. We're back at zero here. So let me click and now it moved, but you didn't see the number one until it had already moved. That was a small move. Small movements are harder to see, but there's the number four but it's not showing you the new number before it moves. And really that's the difference. So use layout effect is synchronous and what is happening is it's modifying the DOM and then it's delaying you seeing the paint to the browser until it actually runs the code inside. So we're getting that updated number and then it paints it to the browser. Instead of with use effect, you saw the number change because use effect is asynchronous and then you saw it move. So that's really the difference. Now, another way to tell when it's that 1% of the time that you would want to use use layout effect is if you're really seeing a flash on the screen. A lot of times if you're changing several things in the DOM or it takes a while to process, you may see that flash when the repaint happens. We're not really seeing it now and of course we're not seeing it with use layout effect that I now have in here. However, that's the main difference. So you're using it when you're modifying the DOM and when that modification is visible to the user. And so this is absolutely visible and now it's not changing the number until of course it has moved the section. So just to recap that, I'll go back and change it back to use effect and we'll see the number change once again before, here I didn't change them both at the same time, we'll see it change before my section moves. So there I click, now we got the one and then it changed. So that's a good example of when you want to use use layout effect. I hope this helps you understand the difference between use effect and 
the use layout effect hook. Remember to keep striving for progress over perfection and a little progress every day will go a very long way. Please give this video a like if it's helped you and thank you for watching and subscribing. You're helping my channel grow. Have a great day and let's write more code together very soon.